morning guys it's me ep and today is monday and i am running late to the gym even though i'm like right around the corner i'm still late because uh yeah i, I like to get in the gym at five so i can get enough time in the gym before i have to go to work but it's cool we're gonna get in there and get some work done follow me here we go Bro. It's Who? time. Time for what? He's 35 years old. He's halfway through his life. He needs a kid now. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm in the gym right now. Let me pause this. Probably gonna do some. What are you guys doing today? Are you doing shoulders? They're doing shoulders. I'm gonna do some uh, back and chest, I think. Don't really have enough, a lot of time, so. It's gonna be some nice, short and sweet stuff, so. Let's get going. I'm gonna start off with some incline dumbbells. All right, guys, I really didn't explain what I did for the first superset of this workout this morning. So basically what I did was I did dumbbell incline and I did about four to five sets. And I superseted that with cable pullovers, which is I did four or five sets. And I did anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, just trying to go for reps. counting so I think that was my maybe my fourth fourth set so uh, then I'm gonna do my last set of uh, some cable pull downs I'm gonna do my last set right here now I'm gonna jump into this chest machine right here I'm not too sure what it's called but it's by that's how it looks For my back superset, I'm gonna do some uh, cable lat. I'll probably do wide grip. Let's do wide grip. Hold on. Superset, do the hammer string, flat bench, and I'm gonna superset that with a seated cable roll. And then I'm gonna end the workout with some, uh, I'm end it with cable flies or the pec deck. Sing with me, sing with me. I like that I got that. Sing with me. Sing with me. Drake sucks. Haters. All right, time for some cable, cable work. While I listen to Drake. I got Young Dolph gang banging in my ear. Drake. It's whack. You heard it. It's whack. Did you find it? No. It's not whack. It's, it's, just, it's not as good as his other albums. But sometimes it takes you a while to. It shouldn't take his ass a while to start doing a bunch of shit. Well, ain't nobody buying it because it's on, it's on that Jay-Z's uh, streaming thing. That's 
that's a wrap on this workout. Go to work. I'm late. Look at the clock if you can see it. It's about 6:25. See these homies over here working out. Actually, looks like he's just sitting there. The other homie working out. He doing work. I don't know what he's doing. Hector was doing work. He's doing work. Look at this pump. I got pump. I'm touching my titties. Yeah. Got a little bit of light, so I guess I could talk to you guys in the car for a little bit. When I hit back and chest together, I usually do this uh, every other week. I don't do this every week. One week I'll train chest and maybe triceps by by themselves. The next week I'll train uh, chest and back together. It's really no method for it. I just do it because it's just it fits me. That's just how I like it. I like to, you know, try different things, man, to see see what works for the body. Because, like I said in previous videos, if you guys watch my previous videos, older videos, you can't do everybody else's workout. Just because it works for them doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. With me, I like to try different things because honestly, I still haven't really found a workout that's that fits me. I do know that my body does respond better to heavy weight, but like I said before, you can't lift heavy. <laughs> you can't lift heavy. <sighs> Damn, can I talk right now? You can't lift heavy every workout. There's times where you can max out or go for a heavy set, but not every not every session. change nothing same plain old oatmeal same protein with the water right here I hope I can drink all this today and you know scripture and prayer got to get on that positivity if you ain't positive don't be negative don't be a negative person time for that cardio let's knock it out Almost done. Oh man. Oh. Oh, on Saturday I weighed in low. Uh, the lowest I've ever weighed in in a, a few months. I weighed in at 239.6. It's the first time in a while that I broke the 240s. So. I'm not doing anything drastic. Just working out intense, doing a little bit of cardio here and there, eating clean from time to time, and just, you know, just put in that work. Sweat. That's all you gotta do, put in work, be consistent. Kind of get up out of here and go home. All right, guys, just got home probably about 10 minutes ago, and I got a package in the mail. It's right here, I will show you what it is after I show you what led up to getting whatever it's in here. When I first started lifting, I didn't really use anything but a weight belt. I used to use the gloves too, like everybody else used to do, till you got further into it. So as I started lifting heavy, I needed something to protect my knees. Knee wraps. I got these, these are not expensive at all. I think I paid probably 20, no more than 25 bucks for them. These are good for adding a little bit more support to your knees adding a little bit more weight to your squat. They, they work and they do what they're supposed to do. The only negatives with this is I hate putting it back in like this after every set. And you know, I got tired of doing that. So I end up going to regular knee sleeves by McDavid. 
I ended up using these for squat on accident. The reason why I got these in the first place because I used to play basketball and my knees were not that good. I got these and I ended up getting hitting the size too big and when I would play basketball on them, they would droop down. They were pretty good for keeping my knees warm while I did squat. So I started to use these. I pretty much got over these too because they wasn't giving me as much support as I needed. After I got over these, these Enzer knee sleeves. They have the Velcro to make them tighter and they're similar to this. They're similar to this. Now these are good. I like these. When I got them, I felt so much comfort. The weight felt good on my knees. I didn't feel any problems with them at all. And you know, it was pretty, it's just a pretty decent product. And they were, they were not expensive at all. I think I paid $55 for these. The only thing I don't like about these, when you do make these tighter, they they end up to be in the back of your knee. And when you go down, you can feel the plastic part driving into the back of your knee. And that's what I didn't like. They only felt good if you had on tights or sweats with them. You couldn't just put it on your bare skin. They didn't feel good to me on my bare skin. I went to the next best thing. I kept doing a little bit of research. I was in between SBD or the Ray-Ban. So I decided to go with right here. A slingshot, strong knee sleeve. Just from taking them out the bag, they feel very durable. I really cannot wait to use these. I have leg day tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do any type of heavy lifting because you know my lower back is still kind of bothering me. ST Strong by Slingshot, Mark Bell, uh, Simon Mike. Looked online on YouTube, a lot of people said they prefer these over the SBDs. And the reason why I got red is because it matches my lever belt that I don't think you guys have seen yet. With that said, can't wait to use these. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can dislike too. You can you can do that. That's still when you still watch the video, you can do that. But make sure you hit that thumbs up. Alright?